<laughs> Hello, everybody. How are you all doing? If I look weird, it's because I've got such bad hay fever at the moment. My eyes are puffy. I, my nose is blocked up. I keep I sneeze, sneeze about 75,000 times a day. So if you're wondering what's going on with me, <laughs> that's what's going on with me. She, she's probably going to sneeze in some of this. Um... If I sneeze, I promise I'll sneeze away from the food. So today, and you too, yeah. Today we are making one pot tomato pasta. So I make um, one pot pasta quite often because minimal washing up and um, it makes, because you're cooking the pasta in the starchy water, it makes your pasta really nice and kind of silky. It's a really nice way to cook pasta. So um, if you like this kind of way that we're gonna do it today, then try it out with different pastas as well. If you cook with meat, because today we're not cooking with meat, we're making a tomato pasta. But if you do cook with meat, then just make sure you fry your meat off first. Um, and then what I normally do is I take it out of the pot. So I'll fry it off, take it out of the pot, and then I will make up the rest of my pasta. So I'm just going to wait a couple of minutes for you guys I to get on. Hi from Hong Kong. Hi from Hong Kong. Sterling, Sterling in Scotland. Sterling. Oh, thank you so much to everyone who joins in on this. We have so much fun. <clears throat> next week, we're going to, this is actually a request. Someone requested making sausage rolls. So next um, Wednesday, we're going to be making our own homemade sausage rolls. So as usual, all the ingredients, <clears throat> sorry, all the ingredients are down in my description box. So go and have a look at those so you can get everything in your fridge or freezer so you're ready for this time next week. Um, it's raining. Amy in Dudley. Hi, Amy. Um, hi from... I'm a paramedic. It's oh, raining Liv wet. Liv says she's a paramedic on shift watching you in my break. Sounds like I'm making this for dinner. It's so easy. It's a 10-minute meal. It's really, really good. And it's a great one to get the kids involved with as well because it is really easy. So, I didn't like it yesterday. Oh, Jamie's funny with tomatoes, but these chopped tomatoes that I've got today, the ones yesterday were a bit chunkier. Like no, you don't even notice these in the dish. Honestly... I said sun-dried tomatoes are optional, but they really, really add like a nice little depth into your dish. So what you're going to want to get out today, I am doing this for four people. So normally I'll do 100 grams of pasta per person, but because we're a greedy family, I'm doing 500 grams of pasta for um, the four of us. So if you want to cook less, you can do, but if you want to cook the same amount, then cook the same amount. It's great to keep in the, fr the fridge and then just bring it out whenever you want it. So I'm using a whole onion. If you guys are going to cook half the amount, just use half an onion. I've got three cloves of garlic. I've actually got four, but one, two of them are quite thin. Um, I've got some sun-dried tomatoes. I've just got half a little pot of sun-dried tomatoes here. Ross, don't play with that. One veggie stock cube and um, 500 grams of pasta, one tin of chopped tomatoes, cheese. and some cheese as well. You so, always need uh, cheese and olive pasta. oil. A bit of olive oil to put in your pan. You can do that actually now. You want to pop some olive yes. oil in? Can wanna, I, um, grate the cheese? You can grate the cheese. Oh, no. So we'll turn turn your hob on, guys. And while that you're enough? oh, that's plenty. Um, you can break. You right. can grate the cheese. Bit you don't need the cheese until the end, but Jamie wants to start grating now anyway. Um, so you want to get your hob on the go. Just slowly Try. heat up your olive oil. Yeah, let's turn it on. Hold on. Okay, you're going to get that on the go. Slowly heat up your olive oil, and then what you want to do? Oh, I think you're grating most of the plastic there, Jay. Um, you can mix it if you like. And then with your onions, you want to finely dice them. So if you guys have been watching me for a while, you'll know how much I love my electric dicer. I, I basically don't ever dice up my own onions anymore because I just cannot get them as fine as this. So if you've got one of you, these, use them. But if you don't, then just finely dice your onions and your garlic. Use a garlic crusher. And you also want to, if you're using some dried oh, tomatoes, you also want to finely dice these up as well. So we'll get into doing that. Like I said, I'm going to use my nifty machine. This machine, I might actually link it down in my description box here because um, I've got this one from Next. Oh, Jamie just dropped the cheese. Like, 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 every like week, last video. every week you guys drop like, it. What did we do last video? Last video, you dropped the cheese all over the floor, and then Lulu came and ate it, didn't she? Oh, look at here. Um, Super cheesy gonna put my garlic in here as well and 
I can't remember what we cooked last time now. Oh, we, oh, we, we did the, we did yeah. cookies last week. Uh, no, that, that wasn't that. that uh, sun dried tomatoes. Well. I've got about six sun dried tomatoes here. Your kids won't even notice they're in here, but it really adds like a don't such. Don't, don't. If you if your kids are fussy with tomatoes like this one over don't, here, don't show, them, don't, show them. don't show them. This just adds like a really nice little sweetness to your dish. So I'm just going to finish off this pot. I pop them in there, but usually I put in about five or, five or six. Are you going to break that whole thing up, or are you going to... Um, five or six sun-dried tomato bits. You can blitz it. And then Rory's going to blitz it up for me. Here's the lid. Not just do like a couple of pulses. So this device I use with um, when I'm making like curry paste, all sorts of things like that is absolutely brilliant. Once you get one, and realise how good it is. Is this enough? That's it. A couple more blitzes. Okay, perfect. Thanks, Jay. I'm ready to blow. Ready to blow, did not you? That's enough, I think, Rosie. How's everyone getting on with dicing up their onions and. And if we and if show we them. Let me just show them how this turns out. It looks good. Look at that. That's so, so fine. Let me just go and have a look what everyone's saying. Can I pour it in? Um, wait a second. Wait, let's just wait a couple of moments. Um, hold on, guys. I'm just going to... Oh, Reno's online. Hi, Reno. How are you doing? Hello. Um, hold on. Sorry. I've missed a few, <clears throat> missed a few comments. We've got Barry from Scotland. Isabel from Somerset, yeah, sausage rolls next week. Natalie from Cambridge. Um, Aaron from South of Wales. Wow, there's got we've got people from all over the place. Norfolk, Bideford. Veggie. Who's pizza carries? Oh, Cass says she really enjoys our cooking videos. That's nice, isn't it? How's everyone doing with the dicing and things like that? Is everyone up to speed with us? Are we ready to add it into? I can't. Isabel says she's crying. She can't count onions without crying. Isabel, you need this device because I don't cut my onions anymore because I'm exactly the same as you. I cry every single time. Um, I got my onion dicer from Next, but... They don't actually have it on their website anymore. Oh, so what I'm going to do, oh, mind out a second, this is not a bit. Um, we're going to pull this in now because your oil is nice and hot. Yep, pour it in. Careful. Let me do the last bit. That's it. Careful you don't chuck your oil. Careful you don't because your oil might hit up at you. Oh, my eyes are crying now. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh. Oh no! Oh no! Has it happened to you before? Oh, I'm no. not crying. Ugh. Ah! Ah! Right. Oh no! Has it happened to you before? <laughs> ah! This is happening to me. There's me telling Isabel that we don't Ugh. cry from the onions, and they're making us cry. Ah. Now. Oh. Okay. Good job, guys. Right. Stand back. Hello. I'll mix because it's just properly crying. Stand back. Ah. Ah. Give it a little oh, mix eyes. around. Okay, get your kettle on the boil as well, guys, because you're going to want to add in however many, stand back a little bit, Jay, however many grams of pasta you add in. So I'm adding no, 500 no. grams. Ah, yeah. ah, I'm adding 500 ah, grams of pasta, so you want to um, add this. Se hold on, wait a second, I'm just explaining something. So you want to, say you add 500 grams of pasta, you want to add 1,000 mils of water. So you want to double your mils to the grams of pasta. So if you add 200 grams of pasta, you want 400 mils of water, okay? And I use boiling water because it just speeds up the whole process. All right, boys? No. I think we let the oil go for a bit too long, so then I it really... It smells hot. good. It smells good, doesn't it? It's the sun-dried tomatoes, I'm not, Jay. I'm not smelling it because I'm not eyes with those. Okay, right. Fry those all off Ooh. for a little bit. Make your onions nice and tender, saute it all. Honestly, the sun-dried tomatoes really, really add like Hello so from much. London. Hello from London. Let's see. We live there. Susan from Somerset, loving the cooking, great helpers. Pretty dress curry. Oh, thanks. This is actually from Marks and Spencer's. It's one of the Holly Willoughby range. 
of dresses. Hi boys, it's Luna and we had pasta with tomato sauce for dinner. Oh! Well, you're going to have it again for lunch today, Loons, aren't you? Right, everyone, how's um, your um, sautéing going? Someone said, looks amazing, could we could we do a South, South Africa Malva pudding Oh, yeah, okay. Um, I, love to, I love it because last week people were requesting what to um, make in the coming weeks. So we're making a sausage roll next week. Someone asked for that. So if you want to join in next week, don't forget to look in my description box. All of the ingredients that you need are there so you can get them now and pop them in your fridge or freezer. And, um, if you want to, if you, if you have any uh, options you want, want to make so, next week. Someone you said, to, um, yeah. Do you want to request anything? So, someone said, um, Oh, they are very, very helpful. Apart from when they spill the cheese on the floor and pick up and eat all the food right through. Yeah, pour your pasta in, guys. Oh, oh that looks good. Oh, right, like I said, yeah, in a moment, not yet. Like I said, we're doing 500 grams of pasta, which means we're doing a thousand mils of water, boiling water preferably because it just speeds up the whole cooking process, you don't have to wait for it to boil. Once your pasta's in, just mix it all around, so yeah, you can mix. So you're coating all your pasta in those yummy garlic and onion flavours. Hi from Mila again. Hi from Mila, Mila's watching. Okay, now we're going to go in with our, ah, our chopped tomatoes, right, stop a moment Jay. Okay, you ready? Can I pour it in? Chopped tomatoes are going in. Oh my god. That's it. You want to I just splashed. I know, you don't. If you pour it from up and high, it's all going to go everywhere. Okay, chopped tomatoes are in. Now, now pasta, another mix. Now, can I. Um, what is it? Yeah, wait a moment because I'm just going to. So, with my boiling water, I'm just going to rinse out. So, I've measured out 1,000 mils of boiling water here. Remember what I said? Whatever grams of pasta, hello. you double the mills oh, of water. Um, hello from Iceland, love Iceland. Wow! Hi, that's so cool. You're watching from over there. Okay, so now we're going to put in a thousand mils of water. So we're doing 500 grams of pasta. So we're doubling the mills. You want to pour? We're doubling the mills of water. That's it. So it's going to look really watery. Um, can I put you can pour that in. So what you want to do first of all, open up the wings. You have to crush it. That's it. Crush it in there before you open it. Um, well, it's, it's going I to look. To crush it. Just. Well, not like that. When it's open. That's it. So you go like this. Let me show you. We're going to add our veggie stock in now as well, guys. I'm ready to crush it. You can use a chicken stock if you want. Totally up to you. Whatever you've got in the cupboard works just as well. So crush it like that and then wait, 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 because I don't want any of the paper to go in. Open it up and pour your veggie stock in. Why do we only use one? Because it only needs one veggie stock. Your veggie stock's going to add a really nice flavour. Let me just have a little mix raw. Hold on, I don't think you've even got it on the heat properly. That's it. It smells okay. really nice. It does, it smells delicious, doesn't it? But if it's dry, that's so, really good. that's what we're going to say. At the moment, it looks really, really watery because obviously you've got loads and loads of extra water for your pasta, but that pasta is going to soak up loads of your water. Add a little bit of salt and pepper. Want to do it? Want to do the salt, Jay? Yeah. Okay. That's it. Let me move the spoon. Fair enough. A little bit more. If you want to, you can add some chilies in here as well to give it a little bit of a kick. That's plenty, thanks, Jay. That's it. Um, yeah, you can add some chilies in here. You can add loads of, if you want to put some peppers in here. Um, this oh, is just like quite too a good. Fast. Too fast, okay. Now, now we're just waiting. Too fast, too fast. We're just waiting now. So um, we have got everything in there. So if you're too fast, oh. you saute off your onions. You want to get your pasta in there, add your chopped tomatoes, your water, and your veg stock. Bit of salt and um, pepper. Someone said okay. having pasta for lunch. Someone said, are you, someone said, are you adding a little sugar or 
Raisins. No, we haven't, but if you want to, then absolutely do that. This is a really, we're going to put the lid on now. So do you it speak a bit Af faster. Afrikaans? No, I, I left when I was eight, so I didn't really, I was just beginning to um, learn Afrikaans, but I didn't um, get, to, I can say Khoi Mora, that's it. That, and I can sing the national anthem in um, Afrikaans, but there? I can't say it now. We're crying a little bit from, I've got hay fever and I've got onion fever. Um, so we just want to put the lid on the pasta now and let it cook away. I'm going to turn it up, on, I think that's okay. What, what does that mean, that part? Afrikaans, that's what they speak in South Africa. No, what you said. Oh, uh, Koyamora yeah. means good morning in Afrikaans. Koyamora. Um, is, Koyamora. Yeah, fresh herbs, you can add in um, whatever you want. Honestly, this is just like a really basic tomato pasta. Um, so you can add in like some, some um, here we go, we can add a bit of oregano actually, boys. Uh, where's my oregano? Oh, where's my oregano? Oh, here it is. So if you wanna add in some fresh herbs, you can do, really nice. I'm gonna add in a bit of oregano. Thanks for reminding me. Bit of that, I love oregano. It makes me think of Italy. Wait, I'll just give it a little stir because I'm gonna pop the lid straight back on. Oregano. Ooh, delish. Right, let's see who said what. Who said what? Maybe I'll turn it up one more notch. Right, let it simmer away, guys, for... Have you added the... Uh, or... Yeah, oregano, SJ. That's for later. Mind out, Ros? Um, have you added the oregano or is that for later? No, I just added the oregano in now, SJ. Sorry, I forgot Any about that one. for marshmallow? Ah, Anyone on the No, literally, this is really, really easy, and it's you can you can adapt this recipe to however you want it to be. But we have it just. What is that? The onions. They said someone said, "How about tom tom yum soup?" We made that. We made that already. We made that. Yeah, if you look on what um, I think it was not this Sunday's recipe, the Sunday before, I did like five different recipes in one, and I made the tom yum soup. It and is delicious. Said, Are the boys going back to school? No, the boys aren't going not back until to... September. We don't know that 100%, but they're not going back in this and way because it, they're in year uh, three and five. Tomorrow is my, it's my birthday. It, it, it's a month into my birthday. Yeah, yeah. So Rory's birthday is on the 4th of July, so he's so excited. So he's been months. counting down the days. Tomorrow it's a month until... And then tomorrow so it's a month. so excited. And then when's your birthday, Jay? 31st of July. 30. And that's Harry Potter. It is Harry Potter's birthday, Rowling's. isn't it? Yeah, it is. So, That's so weird. Well, Cause, cause, no, because J.K. Rowling made the book, so then she probably um, made Just used her birthday, yeah. didn't she? Exactly. So um, I love your mashed potato oven ones. Which ones are those? I can't think. Do you mean, do you mean the uh, slow cooker? Um, oh my gosh, my eyes are still Who's crying. Pizza place? Um, do you mean the ones I do in the slow cooker? I'm just going to give this a little mix around. Don't forget to keep mixing to kind of separate the pasta. It's boiling away really nicely. Maybe press them. So if you um, joined a bit late and you missed the reason why cooking pasta in one pot is really good, it's because on top. by cooking it in Someone the starchy on water. Is a, I love your Let me just explain this. Oven on top. Oven on top. Oven on top. Oven on top. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, by cooking it in the water, you're cooking it in like the starchy water and it makes your pasta really, really silky and delicious, really nice. And it also saves up, like saves on washing up as well, which, you know, um, everyone loves. Do you um, have any ingredients for the next week so I can add it to my online? Shop, yes, SJ, we're cooking um, oh, sausage, sausage rolls. If yes. you look down in my description box, I've got all the ingredients listed that you need so you can add it to your shop um, and be ready. We've got like sausage meat oh. and things like that, so you can pop that I in the freezer the um, and then get it out when you need it. Also, puff pastry to put it in the freezer as well. Someone said, please, more veg options. Love all of the ones you do. Love from Australia. Ah, are you, do, are you um, cooking this one, Lisa? You can do veggie um, sausage rolls next week instead if you want. Just Who's Lisa? Um, I don't know who Lisa is. Lisa from Australia. Um, Lisa hi Turner. from Nottingham. Nottingham. 
Um, yet you just, if you want to substitute out the um, the sausage meat, just pop in something else. You can do like mixed oh, beans or things like have that. Have you made a pasta bake? Oh, the meals with the mashed potato on top. I understand. Yeah, what, like, um, I love the, um, like, all our shepherd's pie. We did a lentil. Don't leave it on for a moment. Oh, right, lentil yeah. Lentil shepherd's yeah, pie. Yeah, yeah. The, oh, um, yeah. You guys love the fish pie, don't you? Ooh, uh, no, I like really the shepherd's good. pie. You like the shepherd's pie? The lentil shepherd's pie was so nice, wasn't um, it? No, oh, I like pie. the cottage, cottage pie. pie with the beans. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Oh, I had five um, portions. <laughs> I, I think I Jenny I says hi guys from Northern Ireland yeah exactly Lisa you could do lentil um, veggie roll perfect that'd be great so you can get I don't know um, if you can get it uh, is it you that said you're in Australia um, yeah I don't know if you can get like a mixed beans kind of thing let me see if I've got one in my cupboards um, yeah, yeah it is uh, from Australia yeah so I don't have one in my I'm cupboard. From Australia. I don't have. Is that your accent? Um, I don't have a mixed green in my cupboard, but Could they're really, really really good to no, use as a substitute. Um, right. Keep on mixing your pasta, and you'll soon notice oh that it's my God. starting to absorb um, some of that water. This smells. Love Jake. Give this a smell. Love this meals. Watching in Lillian's. USA. Oh, Illinois. You keep saying that wrong, don't you? How's it looking? If you want to serve us with garlic bread, you can do. Oh, garlic um, bread, please. We don't have any garlic bread, I'm afraid. Um, I'm really trying to be a bit like healthy at the moment. I feel like since lockdown, I've just been snacking and <laughs> eating like a proper meal for every single meal. Um, and I can slowly see my um, weight is just creeping on and creeping on and creeping said, on. Um, favorite pudding. Yes, mine is still looking runny, Marianne. Don't worry. It just Ooh, suddenly. Favorite okay. Um, it just suddenly like absorbs the rest of it. So you'll see your pasta isn't ready yet to eat. So don't um, worry. Keep cooking. And if you want at the end, if you feel like it's still a little bit runny, you can always take the lid off and the kind of like water will start to evaporate as well. So don't worry. Kat says she's going yes. to make this for tea tonight. Yes, it smells amazing. Have a four bean milk here. Oh, there you go. A four bean mix here. Uh, use that then, Lisa. Get that and then use that next week. Apparently, mm -hmm. cooking along with you and my little one. Is that Mandy? Oh, Mandy. I'm so glad you like these cook alongs, Mandy. They're so good. I love it that everyone joins in with us. Can you guys read any more out? Um, Say yeah. hi to anybody. Rocket yeah. salad with it. Ooh, with this. Nice. Who said that? Who's um, looking at? Anthony. Oh, nice, Anthony. That's going to be delicious. Don't I forget to keep on mixing, if guys. If I say it wrong, um, I'm learning. Laura, don't, don't touch that. I'm learning to... Um, don't forget to keep mixing, because otherwise it sticks to the bottom, so you want to just keep making sure you are separating all of the pasta bits. Well, I don't know. Uh, someone said, what, what, what up, guys? Sam, you from Peterborough? Who Ooh, from Peterborough? Sergio Torres says, oh. where is my mate Chris getting on? Say hi. Chris, Sergio wants you to come and say hi. <laughs> He's worried about his hairstyle. Look at him. He's, He's like, playing oh. Clash of Clans. <laughs> come on. Come and say hi. <laughs> Hello. Look how long Chris's hair's got. It's got wow. so long. I he saw can get up to his hair. He no, his mouth. Mouth. can eat it up to his mouth. I can't. Yeah, he's got such long hair these days. And look how brown he is as well. Look at your hair. Look how brown you are compared to me. Oh my gosh. Chris goes out on his bike like every single year. That's Chris done. Goodbye. Oh, I think people like seeing you. Oh, someone said, hola, amigo. Ha ha. What a good looking guy, Sergio said. He's liking that comment, Serge. He's liking that. Chris, Chris your hair looks amazing. <laughs> that's from uh, either from Russ or from I'm not sure who that's from. I think, I th I think he should. I think he should come in every video. <laughs> Boys, someone's asking what's your favourite meal. Oh, uh, pizza. No, uh, toad in the hole. Toad in the hole. Toad in the hole. Oh yeah, you do like Burger King. Oh, can we make a toad in the hole? Burger King. Can we make a toad in the hole? I love Burger King. We could King. make a toad in the hole, but that does take quite a long time in the oven to.
How's everyone's pasta looking? Ours is bubbling. Is the water starting to evolve? I'm from Kate. Kate. From where? I'm from Kate. Hi. I'm from Kate. Ah. Hi, Kate. I can't. Katie. Katie, actually. Yeah, Katie. I can't remember. I haven't got my glasses um, on. What Can't film, TV recommends do you have? What are you liking on? We have been watching the Marvels, haven't we? Yeah. The boys we've, we've, love we've, Marvel. We've, 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 no, we have We watched. We watched them all in kind of order, didn't we? Not, yeah. Not massively in order. Um, how's everyone's? Um, I'm from Skullhorn. Do you like French toast? Random question. What is French toast again? I get confused with like, is that like an eggy bread type toast or is that like when you put um, um, the cheese on top? I always get very confused. Pancakes or waffles? Oh yeah, let's make that. Waffles. Let's, let's make, make that. waffles. What is that emoji? That? Dab. That's a dab. That's a dab emoji. Oh, is it? Dab, dab. <laughs> <laughs> yes, eggy. That's it. I thought it was eggy. Um, I love, to be honest with you, I love anything toast related. Um, kids first time viewing from Australia. Ah, oh, are you going Hi, to? Hi, Terry, and kids first time viewer. That's what Australia. you said. So, what's our favourite, what's our film or TV recommendations? Because I do, I do agree with you, Beth. Coffee. Who's Pizza Face? I'm not Pizza sure. Are you doing a dab? Maybe everyone, every time someone does a dab, we have to do a dab. <laughs> Come down on the thing here, Jay. There you go, you can do your dab. Please don't everyone just do dab emojis now. <laughs> oh, this is looking so delicious. I'm gonna try a piece of pasta and see how far off we are. Hi, Chris. <coughs> see, everyone wants you to be in this more. Come on. I know, come on. Chris just does the set up and then he, he like... Come on in. Come on in, Wilpy. I'm enjoying watching. Are you cooking along with us? Right, this is going to be so hot. It's not quite ready, I don't think. Uh, okay, uh, but it, do you know, it's, uh, it's going to be so uh, hot. Uh, it's like feeding the... Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, just, uh, I'm cooling it down. You can both have one. Me first. Uh -huh. oh, oh, my! three dabs! Oh. 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 <laughs> Jay, are you going to try this? Tell me if it's ready. Ready. Is it? I'll try. Okay, I'm going to keep the lid off now. You did. Oh. Hold on. Oh. I bet it's not quite ready. It's still a bit oh. crunchy. Oh. Try your pasta, guys. A bit longer. A bit longer, I thought no, so. No, it's more. No. <laughs> Why do my kids always start eating the food before it's ready? So, what I did yesterday when I gave this dish a little run through was. You look like. The, Hold on, let me just say what I baby was... birds on spring rolls. Who does? Uh, you. All <laughs> oh, three dabs again. <laughs> um, what Don't I did yesterday was I added some cheese in now, and then I also added some to on top when um, we dished up. <coughs> so if you want to do that, add... no, stop eating the cheese. I want to add a little bit in now, gives it a nice little creaminess to it. So that's what I'm going to do now, everyone. Cheesy, cheesy. Give it a mix around. <laughs> then it's just going to add a really nice little... Ross, don't touch, bubs, because I don't want you to knock it off. It's going to... It can get knocked to Last week, <laughs> with the last bits, we... Uh, Chris put the computer back up there, and then the next thing... I mean, I've just told you three times now. Anyone else like this? They have to dad, literally dad, tell their dad. kids about 14 times in a day before they listen. I think I could put a little bit more cheese in actually. No, there's still lots for the top. Okay, guys, I think. Yeah. Everyone, have you tried your pasta? How's it coming along? Rory, show us how good you are on separate piece. Okay, um, I don't think uh, I'm gonna have to do it. Maybe at the end of we could take the outside. Oh, no, oh that's no. a good idea. What we can do? Why don't we? Um, why don't we do that at the end? We'll take them outside because Rory yeah, does. The, at the end, oh, we'll we'll take them outside. Completely ruined the grass. Actually, look, I'll just our come, grass I'll is so nice it. and green, and it's now brown because Rory just goes round and round and round in circles on our grass. And Chris 
He's not impressed. Okay, I'm going to try one more piece of pasta. I'm just going to try it, Jay, because no, I want to see. Let me just ask you one. I've got a question for you guys. Um, try and guess what country this is from. No. Oh, I think the pasta is nearly ready. Is this how the Bluetooth device is connected us successfully? Um, not He's very good on that green, thing. Green grass here lately. How um at sunshine too. How is everyone's pasta coming along? I just tried mine, and I think it's about one minute away from being ready. Nice Could you do any Japanese re recipes? Do you know what? I have never tried making my own sushi, but oh, I said sushi. To, the boys love sushi. We said the other other day that we are want to try to make our own sushi. So I will, if I any good at it, I'll do a little um, I'll do a little video on it. The girls, I love. Phoebe says hi skip. from London. Well, he's good on the segue. He's really good. Yeah, Isabel, right. it's raining here. Oh, we've got such a nice day again. It's, it's overcast today, but the day is actually really nice. Um, right? Um, the if, if someone says it's raining, you have to do this. It's raining. Okay. It's raining. Right. Come on, we can put that right now. Okay. Bye, bye. Say bye, everyone on my segue. Bye. Okay, let's get the dishing thing. That would be great. How is everyone's pasta going? Have you tried it? I'm taking my lid off now. Oh, this is so... This is actually looking amazing. Can we take the off as well? We won't. Everyone's pasta done? Um, not... Not... Seat sandwiches. Has everyone tried their pasta? Is it good to go? Nice no, Um, I think it's. I think this is ready. I'm going to turn it off. We're turning ours off now. Okay, let me get it because it's going to be so okay. hot, Jay. It's going to be so so hot. I just right. Pasta. Right. This is literally boiling. Ready? 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 Yep, okay, ready. Now we're going to dish up. Yes, already. Already? Look how good this looks. Do you um, like have that much? I don't mm -hmm. like olives. But uh, if I want some more. There we go. Someone said, do you like olive boys? Mm, the boys are... Uh, Jay, do you like olives? Want some cheese? No, nope, I don't. Okay. I don't... You don't, don't dislike... Enough, enough. You don't dislike olives, do you? Right. I like them. I'll eat, it, I'll, oh. eat, I'll eat them if I have to. He'll eat, them if there's, he'll eat them if there's nothing else around. Mm. But you don't mind olives, do you? Right, look at this, guys. Oh, oh Jay, you've got enough cheese. Wait, let me... I want to show them what it looks like. Hold on, I'm getting you both some pork. That's what it looks like. We're going to do the ultimate taste test. Here we go, ready? Oh. You guys, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah. But just wait, because it's going to be so hot. So give it a blow. I remember we're doing that. So, what's your verdict, boys? Oh, no, yeah. Let me just... Let me, <laughs> let me blow it for you. The one thing that Mummy said was, don't taste I know. it yet. And then, ah, and then Jamie ah, tastes it straight away. So, how easy did everyone find cooking that? One pot passes are the way forward. You've only got that one pot now to, to um, wash up. I mean, so much better. And, be. well, we would always have the bowls, wouldn't we? Mm -hmm. And if you can see, it's just so much kind of silkier because, like I said, you've cooked it in the starchy water. Right, should I get you a piece? Yeah. Let me get you one so I can blow it because I know what you like. You'll we'll burn your it. head off. Wait, it's going to be so hot. Rose, have you tasted it? Yep. What does everyone think? Ready, Jay? I think you can eat this now. Hmm. Literally yeah, touches that's a dab, a dab. It's a uh, thumbs up. I'm going to taste it. Thumbs up. Mm. Those two degrees. Oh, that's delicious. Those two price? degrees here oh in gosh. Hong Kong at 7 p.m. Oh my gosh, Wait. that's boiling. Wait. Oh, that is so nice, guys. It's that 7 is absolutely PM. delicious. 7 p.m. in the morning. This is Chris's. No, 7 a.m. 
It said 7 p.m. This is Chris's. Yeah, it says 7 p.m. Yeah, that's a night time, Jim. Oh, thank you very much. No, you're not. Chris's arm just comes in to get his, and I'm going to get some for myself. I hope everyone's enjoyed this cook along. Thank you so much for joining in today, guys. We've had no, loads said, of fun with you. Someone said they could drain it. No, didn't drain it. All the sauces kept, get, um, kept in here. If yours is still a little bit saucy, take the lid off for a little bit and cook it without the lid on for a little while. And that then um, some of the liquid will kind of evaporate off. Yeah. Um, oh, delicious. Yeah. Good. Bit of cheese on there. Get myself a fork. Yeah, so if you feel like it is a bit saucy, then... Um... This is better than last time. Oh, good. I'm glad. <laughs> Kids are so honest. Um, don't forget about next week's cook along next Wednesday at midday. Sausage rolls. All the ingredients you need are down below. If you want to make them veggie, then what I would suggest is to get like some mixed beans or something like that, um, and you can kind of mash those up instead of using the sausage meat. So just eat a bit slower if it's so hot. <laughs> Uh, gross. Oh, that is gross. Sorry, sorry. I always feel like I have to excuse you in the, we'll in the live. We'll so, manage. thank you so much for watching, everyone, today, guys. Have a lovely rest of the day and rest of the week. And if your kids are back to school this week, then good luck with everything. I hope you're all okay. And we will see you again next week. Say bye. Bye. Bye, bye guys. Let's eat. Eat our lunch. Mm. This is actually delicious. Good.